sir. We've got the bridge, but we're getting our asses reamed! Pull back. My men are gonna cut the pieces up here. We're pulling back. You hold that bridge, Captain. That's an order. I've already lost 30 men. This isn't a debate, Pritchard. You hold that goddamn bridge. This is suicide. Listen up. As far as I can see, they have no infantry support. The gun crew's got its back to us. We're gonna run right up that road. Baxter, Sanderson, you're gonna burn them out. Okay? Let's move. I put you in charge over this, Sergeant. Now listen up. You gotta pull your platoon back to this side of the river. You expect me to get these guys to leave cover in this shit? If you don't get that platoon to move, you're all gonna be dead in ten minutes. Now hold on. No, 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 no,
fucking way! Baxter! No! No fucking way! No fucking way! No fucking way! No! no Get no up there, Baxter! Day. I got the luck. You got it, Bobby. This is nothing. To walk in the park. <laughs> oh. What's up, partner? I get to go home. You're going home, Bobby. I'm going home. Goddamn right. I'm going home. You know it, Bob. <laughs> Hang in there, Bobby. Hang in there. You can do this. I could do this. You're tough as nails. Nail. Not good enough, Bobby. Nail. What about nails? Top! That's right, they're fucking tough! God damn you! Stick with it, Bobby! Fucking dig in, Bobby! Come on, who's tough as nails? Me, tough. Hey, that's right, you tough. Tough as what? Nails. That's right, now say it. Tough as nails! That goddamn right, you're tough as nails! Ah! Come on, stay with us, Bobby. It hurts. I know, it's less than a mile. Less than a mile to go. It's too far. No, it ain't. It ain't too far. I'm gonna make it. You can that shit. I'm gonna die. But you're gonna make it. I'm oh, gonna... You're gonna make it. Make it. You're, you're damn right. Some bogey. I gotta rest for a minute. Okay? Okay, Bob. Bobby, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Bobby, stop it, Bobby, Bobby. Welcome back, motherfucker.
promise me you won't pick me up no more? It hurts. Don't, don't pick me up anymore. Listen, Bob. If I leave you, ain't nobody gonna find you. You're gonna die out here. Just sit here for a bit. I am dying. Bob, you can't sit here. Listen, I gotta pick you up. I gotta get you out of here. No. Come on. No. Let's go. No. Let's go. Come on. Relax, relax. Oh, Fine, I know, I'm not gonna touch you. Oh, okay, just relax. Look at relax. <laughs> just relax. No more. No more. No You're not gonna leave, are you? Got no choice, Bob. Don't leave me here like this. Please don't leave me here like this. Don't you leave me here. David. David, don't leave me here like this. Stop it. Don't leave me here. David. Company. Oh. Easy there, buddy. Hang in there. Chamberlain, grab an end. Captain Pritchard's been looking for anybody from your platoon. Where is he? Back at HQ. I'm heading that direction if you want to lift. Why do they leave them there like that? Fucking brass. They don't want to waste the trucks on the dead. They still got more guys to haul in for the slaughter. No more room in hell. What are you talking about? There's plenty of room. All they gotta do is stack them higher. How many do you think? Hundreds. And that's just in the last five days. How can they let this happen and still pretend to be human beings? I haven't seen one of those sick fucks over the rank of captain here since I've been up here. They're looking at points on a map. 
Not one of them has a fucking clue what's going on up here. Shit flows down. Goddamn right. Regiment wipes his ass with battalion. Battalion wipes his ass clean with company. And we're left to lick the shit off of them. Mark my words. They're gonna keep sending us in until the whole fucking division is gone. Not me, Bedpan. Private. Relax. You can stop looking for your platoon. They didn't make it. What? Looks like you're the only one who made it out. Your lucky day. Lucky day? You're alive. Am I? If you don't put a sock in it, Private. You're gonna what? Can it! Both of you. Lucas, take a walk. You better get used to him. He's your new platoon leader. He'll be dead in a week. Tell me something. Have you got your shit together? Sometimes. What's that mean? It means that sometimes I've got it together. On the line? What do you want, Captain? The entire battalion took a beating last night. I've heard 70% casualties, but that's just talk. Whatever it is, it must have crippled us bad. We've been pulled back without reaching a single objective. What has this got to do with me? We're getting replacements in from the channel. Tonight you'll be fitted with a new squad. Congratulations, Private. You're a sergeant now. I don't want it. You'll get used to it. I don't want to get used to it. I don't give a damn what you want. I'll put up with that mouth vibing a week up here. You've earned that right. You have not earned the right to question my orders. I am absolutely the wrong man. That may be your opinion, Sergeant, but it's not mine. You managed to stay alive for a week. That's something the rest of your platoon couldn't do. Call me crazy, but from where I'm standing, that makes you qualified for the job. You're making a mistake. Your opinion is duly noted, Sergeant. Dismissed. Sir, I've... In the woods, I've done things. Sergeant? Yes? Dismissed. Request permission for it is Section 8. I'm fucked up. I can't do this. I, I'm no good. Listen to me, soldier. A week ago, I had a company of almost 200 men. Now I've got 50. As hard as this may be for you to swallow, your efforts to stay alive hold very little value at this particular time and place. What does hold value are the objectives. The longer it takes to obtain them, the more dead will be stockpiling at the side of the road. Now, it's my job to obtain those objectives, and I will utilize anybody at my disposal to do so. That includes you, Sergeant. Now, I'm just as sorry as hell about your bruised nerves, but you are out of your skull if you think I'm going to let you bail on a Section 8. Is that clear? Yes, sir. At 1,400 hours, you were rendezvous with your new squad. You've got until then to get your shit together. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Good. Now get out of my sight. Captain, when I fuck this up, is it your fault or mine? If I tag along? Suppose not. So I heard about your promotion. Yeah? Where'd you hear that? Pays to have friends, man. Got a smoke? Yeah.
You know, it's amazing, really, when you stop to think about it. Old platoon fingers its way into the factory, and there's one guy who makes it out to talk about it. You got 25 or 30 guys dead or dying, and you walk out without a scratch on you. It's a lucky day. Yeah, lucky. And that's one way of looking at it. But not the only way. Right, Talbot? There isn't anything sacred with you, is there, Manning? Warm, dry feet. How'd you manage to get out, Manning? Did you get cut off from the rest of the platoon? The trees get pretty thick out there. Did you get lost? Come on, what happened? You got something in that bag of yours, just spill it. All right, look, it's like this. See, your routine isn't as seamless as you think it is. Always hanging back a little bit, never volunteering, doing just enough to keep out of trouble, but never enough to really help out. You're kind of an emotional guy. Get one thing fucking straight, Manny. There is no hang back now. You got a glob of greenies looking at you to keep them alive, and if I find out that one of them answers the last muster because of your yellow streak, I will personally put a bullet in your brain. You thought he was just about me. I know he's just a dumb fuck farmer from Wisconsin. <laughs> <laughs> Am I in trouble? Hell no, we're still waiting for the sergeant. How'd you get here? Guy about a mile back in a Jeep just told me to follow the road. I don't know why they sent us in here. I hear the war's gonna be over by Christmas. Who told you that shit? Let's talk. I heard the crowd's got nothing but old men and children on the line. And you believe that? I'd like to. <laughs> How about you shit about old men and kids? I will if you will. <laughs> what are these? How the fuck should we know? They're called dragon's teeth. Crowds use them to stop our tanks. You're standing on the Siegfried line. Where there's Germany. I suggest you remember that. Let's go. You're with me. We're going to the front. Listen up. Right over that hill is the front line. When you're in your foxholes, the crowds are going to be less than 50 yards away. This is a thin line, which means we're going to be spaced far apart. Because this fog, you might not see the guy nearest you. The crowds are going to hear us moving into position, and they know that you're replacements. How? This company lost over 100 men last night. They know we're hurting bad. And they know that we have to try to bring in replacements today. The only reason they're not making a push is because they're hurting too. 
They know you guys don't know shit. They're going to try to use it. They'll call out to you in English. They'll try to spook you. The main thing you need to do is keep your shit together. This is the real fucking deal. Name. Huh? Your name. Warren. Last name. Sanderson. Sanderson, you're first. You stay right behind me. Okay. I'll be back for each of you one at a time. Don't go wandering off now. I mean it. Stay right in my back pocket. Let's go. Keep your fucking head down. Move him out. Sure took your sweet time getting here. Anything notable? Those fucking tanks again. They've been jamming their barrels down our throat from that fucking high ground for a week now. Air Corps can't see them, artillery can't hit them. They better find some way of knocking those fuckers out, and I mean fast. What about the 88s? They're still out there. Got tanks on our right side. 88 millimeter cannons on our left side. Fucking army. Fucking army. I'll be back in the morning for patrol. Scared? Huh? Scared? Yeah. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Want me to tell you? Okay. Basically, you're a lookout. When you're down in here, you're responsible for holding this section of the line, okay? You got a machine gun nest protecting on your right flank. You're 25 yards away. You got another rifleman protecting on your left flank. A little closer, maybe 15, 20 yards, okay? Now in front of you, you got your crowds. They're close. 30 yards, maybe a little more. Okay? The challenge is Hershey. Password is Apple, okay? You say Hershey and you don't hear Apple, you open fire, you understand? You don't think about it, you don't hesitate, you just do it, you understand? Otherwise, you're gonna go home to your mom in a box, all right? Now, don't crowds make a push, you use your grenade. Okay, how do I know if they're making a push? A bunch of shooting and screaming and a bunch of guys running at you. <laughs> yeah. And you know they're making a push. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. You want to light up a cigarette at night? Lay on your back at the bottom of the hole. I don't smoke. Huh? I don't smoke. You still got your issues? Yeah. You will. What's your name? Warren. Welcome to Death Factory, Warren.
you got point. I've got you on a straight line course. I know that this is your first patrol. You've had time to watch what I've been doing. Yeah. Be alert. You've been behind crop lines for the last 30 yards or so. You got no friends here. Our job is to scout the enemy positions. Ease up on the trigger finger. Yeah, right. This is your first big chance to stay alive. Don't fuck it up. Let's go. Sanderson. What's this wee crap? Shut up. What do we do, Sarge? We wait. Hope he's got brains enough to come straight back. What if he doesn't know he's alone? He knows. to risk the entire squad. Yeah, but what is your name? Doug Despin. Well, Doug Despin, this is the second time I'm telling you to shut up. 
You follow me? Yeah. Then let's go. Good afternoon, gentlemen. We're going to make another push. The objective is to retake the town of Schmidt four miles east of our present position. Not that that's a surprise. To get there, we have got to secure the river crossing on the Carl Trail. Now, we'll approach the river through this part of the forest. Roy, your boys are going to take the Carl Trail again. You have got to take and hold our Bailey Bridge. Yes, sir. Now, G2 said it'll be clear sailing up to the bridge, but once you get there, it's going to get pretty hot. With all due respect, sir, did G2 forget about the tanks the Jerry's have been clobbering us with? No. The artillery's going to take care of the tanks. They've been saying that for a week. Well, they're saying it again, and this time, they're right. Bunch of chicken Do you have a problem, Captain? What if those tanks are still firing, sir? Then we'll deal with it. No problem. Captain Pritchard, if you feel you're unable to carry out your orders, you let me know. And I'll relieve you your command and find somebody who can. Now, the jumping off point, the Siegfried line, here, here, and here. There's not going to be an opening barrage this time. I want surprise. You men will take and hold your objectives. We've been screwing around too damn long up here. Any questions? Any questions, Captain? No, sir. Thank you. Good day, gentlemen. Leave it alone. You want more, you go wait in line. Sanderson, eat your food. I'm not hungry. That's not the point. I'm not hungry. Last time out, a hot meal was five days ago. Since then, my entire platoon has been wiped out. That's why you're here. Just a bunch of guys in line to get shot so they can bring in a bunch of other guys. See how that works? Now, once you get that through your fucking head, maybe you'll realize how important a hot meal could be. Don't go anywhere. Stay where I can find you. We're making a push. You get orders, Sarge? We will. If we didn't get orders, how do you know we're making a push? Hot food, coffee, cigarettes. We're making a push, sure as shit. He's full of it. You think he's full of it? He's full of it. When did you start smoking? What's it to you? Sorry, I blew up. Shut up. Come on, Baxter, relax. Last night for me. <coughs> but you let up, Warren. First day. Me too, huh? I was freezing. Hey. Check this out. What the fuck are you doing, Lonnie? When you fart, I'm gonna blow your ass off. <laughs> 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 Asshole smoke. <laughs> 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 Sick of the 
cigarette? <laughs> Probably these issues. It tastes like shit. <laughs> Hey, Sanderson. Out there in the woods with the crowds? What was it like? It was like... drowning. You want to speak to me? Lieutenant, I want to know what happened out on that patrol yesterday. I heard your point man got separated from the squad. They're still learning. No shit. What the fuck are you thinking putting a replacement at point on his first patrol? I've got nothing but replacements. You should have stayed at point, Sergeant. Sergeant. I thought it would be a perfect chance for at least one of them to get some experience. Bullshit. You're still trying to save your own ass. These kids don't know anything. And you do? No. I don't. For four days, I've been watching these mangled bodies being carried out of the woods, knowing real soon I'm going to be expected to lead a platoon in there. Nobody's telling me a goddamn thing. I just walk around trying to look like a lieutenant, so you're right. I don't know anything. In fact, the only one in this platoon who does is you. Do you get it now? It's starting to sink in. What do you want? I want your help. Look. If I can help you in any way without endangering my own life, I won't hesitate. If you want my opinion, I'll give it to you. But I'm not taking a bullet for anybody. That's not good enough. That's as good as it gets. Tell you what, Dave. You find yourself out there in the middle of a firefight? With your guts hanging out? Screaming for a medic? If I can help you in any way without endangering my own life, I won't hesitate. So what do you think? About what? This push that Manning's talking about. You think we're really gonna do it? Yeah. We just got here. Yeah. Hey, Sandy. Yesterday out in the woods, Manning was just going to leave you there.
is to try and take the bridge on the call trail again and hold it. Crowd 88's on the ridge are going to have us right on the chopping block. Fuckers. There's a road leading up to the ridge from the north side. I figure a single squad with a couple of flamethrowers might have a shot at taking them out. Their gun crews will be firing at us. What about their infantry support? Crowds are holding their manpower back about a mile beyond the ridge. Apparently they're having trouble finding replacements, so they're relying on their 88's to wipe us out. I need a squad to volunteer. Good luck. You take out those guns and I'll get you that section eight you were begging for. It's a deal. your teeth out.
Negative. Do not pull back. My men are going to come to these seven and we're pulling back. You hold that bridge, Captain. That's an order. I've already lost 30 men. This isn't a debate, Pritchard. You hold that goddamn bridge. This is suicide. Listen up. As far as I can see, they have no infantry support. The gun crew's got its back to us. We're gonna run right up that road. Baxter, Sanderson, you're gonna burn them out. Okay? Let's move. Lieutenant Lucas has lost it! <laughs> I put you in charge over this, Sergeant! Now listen up! You gotta pull your platoon back to this side of the river! You expect me to get these guys to leave cover in this shit? If you don't get that platoon to move, you're all gonna be dead in 10 minutes! Now hold on! Get up there now! 
Lieutenant. Zigaretten. Und die Zigaretten bin ich. Ich werde noch irgendwas Warmes an. Ich teile die mit mir. Du Arschloch.
How you doing, Roy? I'm fine, sir. I can stay. I think you need a rest. Everybody here needs a rest, sir. Captain, this conversation was over the first time we had it, and it's just as over now. You're wounded. You need a rest. This point of view may help break things open here, Roy. Do I know you? Your people inside? Yes, sir. Captain Zanuck, I suggest you take this time to go in and acquaint yourself with your team. Sir. I should be involved with that briefing, sir. The captain laid every bit of advice he can get. Negative. I don't want the same mistakes as before. What mistakes are those? You tell me. Driver, this man needs a doctor. I'm a piece of shit. She went up that ridge with four other guys and came back with one, huh? You weren't fucking there. You're lucky for me. You keep an eye on you, Manning. Oh, yeah? We all know about that Section 8 deal you cut with Pritchett. You're going to save your own ass. That's right. Too bad he won't be around to hold up his end of the deal. What are you talking about? He got wounded. Took him off the line today. Life's a bitch, ain't it? Lieutenant Lucas? Nobody knows, sir. It's been pretty hard on him. Is that him? Yes, sir. What's the status of your platoon, Lieutenant? Huh? Whatever your problem is, Lieutenant, I suggest you get it under control. Together, Lieutenant, now. Wanted to know the status of his platoon? Just a minute, soldier. You're treading dangerously close to a court martial. That gets me out of here, right, sir? You're Manning, aren't you? What do you care? Report to my command post immediately. Sergeant David Manning. You have a sheet on everybody? 
Not right now, Sergeant. Just you. Sergeant Manning has an excellent, innate understanding of battlefield conditions. His ability to react to aggressive situations is unmatched by anybody in the company. His disrespect for authority is unable to hide his ability to lead. I strongly suggest that he be considered for the next platoon leader when and if the situation presents itself. Captain Roy Pritchard. If I'm not mistaken, Sergeant, the situation has presented itself. When was that written? The day you were made Sergeant. Sir, I'm a non-com. I know what you are, Manny. And I also know what your capabilities are. I was a private three days ago. This isn't up for discussion, Lieutenant. You've got no choice in this. And as it is, neither do I. At 0800, we're making another push. Get your people together. Lieutenant. I got nothing left. Take a little deeper. Talk to you. Said we want to talk, asshole. Look, I want to know the truth, Manny. What the hell happened out there? You fucking walk away from me. Hey. Uh, 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 stop! Uh, 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 you executed Baxter. You're damn right I did. He ran, you'd have done the same thing. Put the gun down, Talbot. Shut up. Go ahead. We're all dead anyway. Regiment's making a push tomorrow. We're to take Schmidt at all costs. What? You heard me. Jesus. The way I see it, we've got two choices. We can settle for being slaughtered in the push tomorrow, or we can take those tanks out tonight. There's no way in hell a company will prove that. This isn't about company. If we do it, it's just us. We'll slip past the lines unchecked. Just another sorry-ass patrol. Let me get this straight. Yesterday, you were pulling for a Section 8. Now, you want to lead some kind of renegade force against the German tanks. The question is, how do we stay alive? What you think of me doesn't really matter. What's your plan, Manning? You're not taking this shit seriously. Maybe. Who's to say he's not going to shoot you in the back like he did Baxter? He didn't have a choice. If he hadn't shot Baxter, we all would have run. And we'd still be taking a fire from those 88s. I'll go with you. I don't know. I don't know. Look, if anyone can do this, I think it's him. I'm not thrilled about the odds. It's better than what we got coming at dawn. Manny. What? Nobody dies. Nobody dies.